Bubbles off to the left, lower left, that's, big stream. That's oh, yeah. a lot of bubbles. That's a whopper. We got bubbles. Woo! Thousand meters. So there's quite a lot of excitement here in the control van. This is what we've been looking for on this dive. Lots of bubbles. And down below, it looks like maybe mussels, for those who missed it earlier, mud volcanoes occur along subduction zones, like the one we're on here. The area right in front of where the plate is going into the mantle is called the accretionary prism. And what's happening there is the sediment is being compressed and the fluids and muds erupt as mud volcano. Is that? Wow. Wow. Spectacular. Look at this. This is methane hydrate. Look at the bubbles in there. And there's more. The uh, there's the flow. Yeah. It's more be bubbles under there. Ah. there. That's methane hydrate, I think, building up underneath here. Mm. Let's, yeah, when we get up close, this is awesome. For viewers at home, this is the first time Nautilus has visited the Barbados mud volcanoes, so this is the first time we've seen this. <laughs> Obviously, this, this big flow of methane coming up uh, from the ground, uh, from underneath the ground, and we've got underneath the rock ledge, we've got a uh, real nice concentration of uh, methane hydrate, the frozen methane. And uh, you'll also see the gas There's really the pouring out here. Very, uh, a very heavy flow. You've got small shrimp moving in and out uh, between the mussels. The mussels look like they have, yeah, these may be very small gastropods on there, but uh, you also have some, um, Oh yeah. I think you have some amphipods moving in, in and out of here as well. Methane, we have this uh, big flow of methane here. These mussels are just at the height of health. They're, they're about as happy as they could be, I think. We're pretty excited by all of the mussels that are living on this site. So yeah. I think we'll be definitely collecting a few of those. This is uh, probably the most dense population of mussels that I've seen at event in my two or three years anyway of watching a lot of these uh, telepresence dives and uh, participating in some of the ROB dives from the Atlantis and the other Hui ships. But this is, uh, this is just unbelievable. This and is outrageous. Bernie, what are the mussels feeding on? Well, the mussels are, uh, they're, they're filter feeding uh, to an extent, but they've also got a uh, symbiotic, symbiotic uh, bacteria that lives in their uh, gill to, in the epithelium. The bacteria will take the methane that's in the water columns, and the uh, mussels can feed off of that. Will will use that carbon, so they don't need a light source for their carbon. They're getting it through chemosynthesis through a chemosynthetic process. So, would this bubble thing would this be solid? Yeah, this, this should be solid. solid. Yeah. So, if you poked it. I think so. You want to try? <laughs> you want to poke it with a craft arm? Yeah, poke it with a the craft there, arm. We can try. Yeah, where's the HD camera? Oh, yeah. yeah maybe oh, it's far away from it. It's miles away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm th just this being this responsible and asking. Wait, wait, wait. Her, her gets to make the call about zooming. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. That is too cool. It's like yeah. she like a snow cone. It is. Yeah, it really is. It's really granular. Oh. That's so but cool. Nice. But these look, yeah, it is. It's slushy looking, isn't yeah. it? Looks like polystyrene, doesn't it? Looks like what? Polystyrene. Yeah. 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 Huh. Well, it's very buoyant, isn't it? Yeah. And now it's just getting stuck elsewhere on the vehicle. That's cool. <laughs> It'll come off eventually. Weird. That's very weird. It's also interesting how it's reshaping itself. Interesting. How does this make you feel, Dave? It's quite soothing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing in the snow. <laughs> 